Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. And uh, this is my second game already tonight, or, uh, well, this is my third game of the night now. Uh, past two, it's just people been leaving on like turn four of game one. Pretty ridiculous. Um, this, this hand, this hand, it's not the best, but I do kind of like it. It's a little slow. Oops. Went to click the blossoming. There we go. Oh, okay. That'll get big pretty fast. Ugh. It's not fun. We're just going to play it out as is. Start getting some defense. We will not block you. Ugh. Gnarly. Okay. Two six with first strike. Okay. You got another one? Now I need a journey. I'll take a few hits from this, though, until it gets really out of control. We're putting it on a warrior. Alright. It's not fun. swing into this thing. Gotta take some big hits next turn though, that's for sure. It's mono white bogles basically, except none of them are gonna have uh, hexproof. Just doing this uh, enchantment, create a warrior, enchantment, create a warrior. Alrighty. Four, eight with first strike. Ugh. And they get an Umbra. Alright, now I definitely need that removal. Six ten. Holy crap. Looks like that's it for this turn. I am nervous about blocking this guy. I don't know what they got up their sleeve. I'm just going to take the eight. It's not what I need. Not what I need. We may have to chump block with the muscle, depending on how big this thing gets. We have another replacement, uh, another replacement lord. Could be not smart to attack in here, but let's make it an even game. Why not? If we can just hold out till we can get some removal for this thing, that'd be nice. That's not good. So there's seven. We can't block it now because they're going to choose green. Can they kill us here? Mm. 
Gonna hit us for eight. It's gnarly. Oh, double strike, Rick. All right, I know what we're dealing with now. Let's get another journey going. Looks like natural state will be good. Sun Lance isn't going to do crap. Looks like we can drop our spinnerets. And I guess let's drop uh, Benevolent. We might be playing with journeys, but uh, I'm okay with dropping our Benevolent bodyguards for, uh, let's say, uh, one Armadillo Cloak. Let's get our own enchantments going. Is there anything else we could cut to bring in the other armadillo cloak? Let's see, we brought in a journey. I think this is okay. We'll do it like this. Yeah, let me play first. That's a little. It's one turn slow, but uh, it's still decent, so. Definitely gonna keep it. Just passing straight back to me. Okay. Well, I'm not not disappointed in that. That puts us back on schedule a little bit here since they missed a turn. So what do they got in their hand that they need to for uh, Seeker? Makes sense. All right. All right. Let's put down another one of these. We'll drop one of these. And uh, next turn, ah, you know what I should have done? Should have played, uh, played our Predatory first. Uh, that way on the next turn after this one, we could drop our Sinew, hold up double green to do Vines on a block with the Seeker. That would have been way more beneficial. Because we're about to get lifelink on this thing for a turn, which that's fine. But we kind of need to be able to just block and kill this thing out. So it definitely would have been better to play predatory first, send you on our next turn. Ugh, dang. Defiant Strike. Holy frick. About to gain five life. This might be a blowout here, guys. Hasn't happened in a while. But they got the cards. They're getting the draws. Not saying our uh, hand is bad by any means, but... Ugh. I don't damage that could be dealt this turn. See, that sucks. Shoot, it might even be better just to hold up the vines this turn. Hmm. Yeah, that's rough. So, 3-3. Three, three. This has Provoke. Ah, this is such an annoying card. Provoke, and you can prevent damage. Dealt to. Okay, it's just to with the elite. Well, that makes it a little bit better, at least. Let's pass. We're gonna go to blocks here. And I don't want the Provoke to just come down on one guy if we swing in, so... We're gonna double block the Seeker. Ugh. That's rough, too. The URL armor on him. It's rough. It's rough. Two cards left in hand. We're gonna lose a, a creature here for sure. Chances are they have some kind of protection for their seeker too, potentially. Alright, Sinew's going at him. Alright, 
This has to go here. This will go here. We'll attempt this. Could be shut out real quick here. See if they got a response. What you got? Yep. Not good. What is it? Double strike. Ah. What a blowout. I like this. I like this mono white build. It's strong. It's very strong. We at least get him off the board, but at what cost? Yeah, let's Winding Way. We could pull into a Sinew here and drop double Lords. It might be alright. There we go. That's decent. And we'll be able to drop double uh, Viverlance. Ah, uh, we actually can't do that. Man, for some reason I thought I had four mana up. Uh, cancel. Alright, we're gonna do it like this then. Unfortunately, this guy is just a pain in the butt. Now we need a way to deal with him. He's just going to provoke our creatures to get dumped into him. And they got another one. Sweet. Provoke is strong, man. One of the benefits of playing red slivers. We got the hunter sliver that has provoke. But who are you going to go for here? Oh, yeah, it's a good choice, actually. <laughs> It's a really good choice. All right. I think it's time to just go big and really try to get our guys strong here so we can do the best we can against these first strikers. Otherwise, we're just not going to survive. They got one card left in hand, so hopefully they can't pump him up anymore. And uh, we just got to be able to block. They can prevent damage. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I'm just on the defense right now. That's it. kind of have to tap out for me to have any chance of getting in. Alright, I'm going to double, double up on this guy just to make sure he dies. Ugh. It's nasty, but thank you for doing it pre-blocks to let me know what you have in store. Oh, uh, they can just they can just protect him. Man, I forgot about that. It's not even gonna matter. They can just tap to and protect him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, did they already pay it? I'm so confused. What did I miss there? You got plus two, plus two. But they didn't tap anything to prevent damage. Okay, what am I missing? How did that get played out? I know, I'm really not sure what I'm missing there with that. The, why did that double block not work? Did I miss him paying for something? Like, I'm really confused right now, honestly. Now I'm going to swing in a little bit. 
does. They can just provoke and untap my creature anyways. Sure, present. Prevent your damage. We're at 31 health. It's kind of an uphill battle here. Maybe we should have waited to play that Viverlint so we could really start grinding out the poisonous. Seek of the way, not fun. Still one card in hand, but they've got such a strong board right now. Passing is good. Passing is really good. Played it. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. I'm gonna attack. Uh, I don't care if they want to double block. I need to try to just keep their creatures low. the cost there we go try to crank this out with poisonous if we can man I really got to watch that replay on what happened with this guy uh, yes first strike and provoke mutagenic growth yeah, it's just so weird. Are they going to attack in? If they did, they got some kind of buff. We got a nice defense going, though, here, so... Don't got to worry too much about any provoke happening. I don't know what's the card in their hand. A little sketch. Winding way's not bad. Let's refill. Wow, please tell me we didn't hit two journeys. That sucks. Flanking is fine, don't get me wrong, but like the journeys would be super helpful here. Super helpful. And we may even see them try to like get rid of this Vivrilent coming up here. They're just taking it. Uh oh. So what are they going to do? They go to three. And... What are you paying for? Oh my gosh. That's a big turn right there. I don't know why they didn't block. They might have skipped. They have all their mana up. They could give them protection. I don't know why they didn't skip that. Why they didn't block. Even if it was just chump blocks with the warrior or something. Alright, we go to game three. I don't really know what happened there. Don't want to make any changes. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with what we have. Just give me a strong, fast hand we can compete with here. They're not playing with like any removal. It's all enchantments. I'm gonna keep it just for the fact that we've got two journeys. I could be really strong against them, honestly. Take away their uh, Seeker of the Way, take away one of their stupid guys. We just gotta wait for a good moment to do it. I mean, we can let them get a couple hits in, but we'll wait for them to stack up a few enchantments and then journey it. Ugh, well this guy, just like auto needs to go though. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. We're just gonna play this out tapped, pass the turn. Start building up our hand. 
not going to drop creatures until we need to, until we deal with threats, basically. See if they got stuck on one land or not. Hmm. All right, so they missed their land drop. Do I want to journey this guy now? That is the question. I feel like I kind of have to, because if not, I'm just passing the turn doing nothing. If I play a sliver, it's just going to die to this thing. So, uh, I guess our hand is kind of forced, honestly. All right. There's your second land. All right. He's not gonna get big yet, so we can at least start putting down creatures. Let's start off with a Sentinel. Have Vines back up. Three mana. Interesting. Tells me they got something in their hand. I'm going to attack into this, and we can vines if they try to do something. So I could just try to pump and block. If that's the case, we'll just overpower it. Where is it? Mutagenic. Vines. Got something for that? Don't tell me you have another mutagenic. That'd be gnarly. Oof. Lucky you. Lucky you. But well, we got him down to one card in hand. And now we're just going to do this. This guy's got two counters, so he's a 3-3. And I'm guessing they probably have one other creature or an enchantment in their hand that I guess they just decide not to play to do the Mutagenic Oath plan. So taking this away right now is pretty good. Oh, wait. What? No, he's protection from white. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to take my creature. But it can't be a target of spells or abilities, right? So I just threw this out there for nothing. Wow, and a gut shot. <laughs> I rescued it. It didn't even die because <laughs> I journeyed it. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. And it's just spells or abilities, so it can still be targeted by the enchantment. Oh no, man, that was such a bad, bad, bad. 
That was so bad. Ah, uh, that's rough. That just might have cost us the game. I'll give him the oops. Man, that's rough. That's really rough. Man, I thought we had the answers perfectly. I completely forgot they had protection from white. Ah. Uh. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Now we're dead in two turns. Pretty much. So I'm assuming, yeah, two turns. Oh, we need a journey. <laughs> Right freaking now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that just ruined my day. That ruins my day. This doesn't even help me. Yeah, that's game. That is game. Ah. Uh. Oh man, I thought we had that. I was so confident that I uh, completely missed what that was gonna do. Ah, oh, jeez. I let him have it. I let him have his swing. Well, maybe you guys found some humor in that. All looking at me like, what do you think you're doing? You just put protection on this creature for white, and you're trying to journey him with a white card. You fool. Oh, you fool. Yes. Yes, I am a fool. We could have a pretty good board state. If we had just waited one more turn, he would have gotten rid of like two, like another enchantment, and then we could have journeyed him he would have taken care of our sentinel but we would have had you know the three three creatures what's he doing oh is he oh uh, now he's just what is he being cruel come on man finish me off we're not we're not doing this dance all right i don't know what he's doing right now just attack come on all right, now he's just having fun, I guess. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> now he's goofing. Ah! <laughs> this is just for humor's sake at this point. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, so stupid. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Can you can you take me out now? Finish me. Do it. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for another Slivers video coming up here soon. 
Hey, it happens to the best of us, right? I'm gonna shake it off. At least, uh, we had good games with them before that crap happened. But I've had other games where I've made worse mistakes on, like, game one. Not fun, but... Alright. Domator, thanks for being a good, uh, opponent. And everybody else, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more Slivers content, and we will see you in the next video.